So today I'm going to show you how to Photoshop a dark landscape image. Um, this one is kind of a dull image. It's underexposed, but also blown out in a few areas. I do have the raw file here, so we're going to start in Adobe Camera Raw. I am going to increase the exposure a little bit, but I'm going to drop the highlights to try to prevent some of these areas from being blown out. And you don't want to overdo it because you don't want it to look unnatural. But I'm going to drop the highlights quite a bit for this photo. And I am going to increase the shadows since we do have some areas that are a bit too dark. But again, you don't want to go too far because you don't want it to look unnatural. And that, that looks pretty good right there. And I do have a bit of noise in this image, so I'm not going to increase the clarity too much. I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of vibrance and saturation. Again, you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to blow out your image. And when I'm done making these adjustments, I'm going to go ahead and click on open image down here at the bottom. This brings it into Photoshop. And I'm going to set the background color to default. This is probably what your Photoshop looks like. The first thing I usually do in this case is to duplicate this background layer. I can do that by selecting the layer and pressing Control J on a PC. That just gives me the original image as a background layer. I can always look back at if I want to see how far I've come or what changes I've made. Now for this image, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this little spot on my lens right here, uh, just because it's annoying me. I'm going to go to the spot healing brush and just click on that to make it go away. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, select Curves, and make some minor adjustments. We did a lot of this in Camera Raw already, but I'm going to see, I'm going to see what else I can do here. Now, my focus here is because this image is a little bit dark and a little bit dull, I want to make it pop a little bit more, but I also want to be careful not to cause the highlights to be blown out if I can avoid it. And I also want to make sure that the darks don't get too dark. So just play around with the curves until you have an image that you're happy with. I like the way that looks, so I'll click OK. Next, I'm going to do some selective editing for certain areas of the image. We have some very bright areas and some very dark areas, so I'm going to go to my selection tool, and right here I have my polygonal lasso tool, just to do a very quick, rough selection, just to show you how I'm going to do this here. So first I'm going to select the sky, so I'm selecting the whole area around the mountains, and I'm, I'm not taking the time to do a very precise selection, I'm just doing something very quick, very rough, very uneven. Now, because I'm selecting the sky, I also have to select the reflection in the water so that it matches. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of the bright areas in the water, just very quickly, roughly. Then I'm going to click Refine Edge, and this is going to allow me to soften my selection. 
Now I can go to Feather. Drag that slider up quite a bit. And I'll smooth it a little bit as well. Play with these settings until you have something you like. So now I have the light areas of my image selected. Now what I'm going to do is make some very minor curves adjustments. In this case, I want to bring out some of the dark areas in the sky. Again, you don't want to overdo it, because if you do, it'll look unnatural, particularly with the rough selection that we have on the horizon. Next thing I'm going to do is make another selection. This time I might be a little bit more precise, but again, I'm just going very quickly, very roughly to kind of select the general area around the terrain in this photo. And I'll do the same for the I'll do the same for the reflections down here. Again, just something very quick and rough since we are going to feather this selection and we're only making minor lighting and color adjustments right now. So we'll select both of those sections and next we go to Refine Edge, Feather, just to kind of select that general area and this time I'm going to shift the edge a little bit as well. So now I just have my dark areas selected. And in this case, I want to actually increase the contrast a little bit and lighten them up as well. We already lightened them up quite a bit in Camera Raw. But I'm going to go a bit further. Again, we don't want to overdo it to make it look unnatural, but I'm going to move the curves up a little bit. But I'm going to go to the very bottom here and try to make sure that the shadows are still dark so that we have some nice contrast. and after. I'm going to try not to overdo it, but I kind of like the way that looks. Now I'm going to select the sky again. This time just a very general, quick selection. Because for this I'm only making very minor, small color adjustments. And when I took this photo, um, the sky was a lot more vibrant and didn't come out very well in this photo. So I'm going to make some slight adjustments to that. And once you have your selection, go ahead and refine it and smooth it and give it some feather. So now we have the sky selected as well as the reflection. We're going to go to image adjustments and for this I wouldn't recommend making major changes with this but I'm gonna go to color balance I'm gonna go to color balance and I'm going to increase the yellows a little bit and shift it to the reds a little bit just to make the sky a bit more warm which is a little bit closer to what it looked like in real life and we don't want to overdo it to make it look unnatural um, but a certain amount of color adjustment might help. And again, we don't want to overdo it, but we just want to make it look a little bit more like the way it looked in real life. So these are just some quick dirty tricks to kind of uh, make your landscape photos kind of pop a little bit more, make them more colorful, improve the lighting when they're a little bit dull or a little bit too dark. One last thing that I do like to do on some of my landscapes is to go ahead and add a vignette. And so the way we're going to do that is just a quick 
kind of simple little trick. I'm adding a new layer. Then I'm going to select the um, elliptical marquee tool. I'll select the elliptical selection tool and then go to the upper left corner, click and drag all the way down to the lower right corner. And this is going to be this is going to give me a big oval across my entire image. And then click on Refine Edge again. And this time we want to feather the selection quite a bit to give us that nice, soft vignette. And again, you don't want to overdo it, but in this case, I'm going to shift the edge as well. And click OK. This time I'm going to go to select inverse to invert the selection. And now our selection is just the outer edges of this image around the corners. With my new layer selected, I'm going to use the paint bucket tool and a black color. Click inside my selection. This is a quick way to get a vignette. Um, I am going to go ahead and reduce the opacity. You can also try different blending modes. Overlay and soft light make sense. For this one, I'm going to choose soft light and reduce the opacity to about 60%. And there you have it. This is a quick way to improve your landscape photos in a short amount of time if they're looking dull or a little bit too dark. I'll show you the before and after. This is what it looked like before, and this is after. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.